Working at the front of the radiator support, remove the two T20 torque fasteners from the intake duct, green arrows. Working at the intake air duct connection on the air filter housing, use a small flathead screwdriver. Release the retaining tabs on each side and pull the duct off. This is a normally aspirated engine shown here. For turbocharged engines, the duct on the radiator support unscrews the same as the previous step, and the duct for the air filter housing is also removed the same way. The air filter housing, however, is in a different spot. Just follow the duct and release the tabs to remove it. Then pull the intake duct out of the radiator support and remove it from the vehicle. Green arrow. The Vano solenoids are located at the front of the cylinder head. The intake Vano solenoid is mounted on the top front of the cylinder head, yellow arrow. The exhaust Vano solenoid is mounted at the bottom front of the cylinder head, as indicated by the green arrow. Working at the intake Vano solenoid, disconnect the electrical connector by pressing the wire release tab and pulling it off, yellow arrow. Remove the Vano solenoid 10 mm fastener bolt, green arrow. Some mechanics say not to reuse this fastener bolt, however BMW claims it is reusable. The choice is yours. Using a flathead screwdriver, gently lever against the metal bracket on the Vano solenoid to extract it from the cylinder head. Be very careful not to damage the solenoid or the cylinder head when doing this. Pull the Vano solenoid sensor out of the cylinder head. Have a rag nearby in case some oil drips out of the cylinder head when the sensor is removed. The Vano solenoid o-ring usually stays in the cylinder head when the solenoid is removed. Be sure to pull it out before reinstalling the solenoid, green arrow. Clean the Vano solenoid and be sure it is free of debris. The best way to clean it is to lightly blow it out with compressed air. Install the Vano solenoid in reverse order of removing. Replace the fastener and the o-ring every time the sensor is removed from the cylinder head. Slide the O-ring green arrow onto the solenoid until it is against the spacer, yellow arrow. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article, along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.